guys, Steak here for Games Defined and welcome back to the After Effects basic training series. This video is going to be on using effects. Now, effects and presets can be applied to anything really from text, videos and images and pretty much anything that you bring into After Effects. And the way you do it is this. You can either come up to effect and making sure your layer is actually selected, you'll see all of these options. And the second way to do it is over here in the effects and presets panel. If you don't see this, then make sure you come up to window and have effects and presets checked just by clicking on that. So this option here is more for if you know what you're looking for. I mean, you can search through all of the things down here, but it's a lot faster to come up to effect and search this way if you're going to do that. So once once you have kind of an idea of what effect you want to use you can you can type it in up here so let's just say you want a text effect all the effects to do with text will be here or uh, let's see color and you'll get all the color effects here and so on so once you have the effect you want I'm just gonna add a glow you can either select the um, select the effect click and drag it onto the composition window and what whichever layer you have your cursor over will be highlighted so let's just duplicate that and then change the scale so we, you see we have two layers whichever one you have your cursor over like I said will be uh, will be affected so let's just delete that we don't want that anymore and drag that onto there and the effect will be up here in the effects control panel next to the project panel. The second way to do it is in the timeline. Now for this you don't have to have your layer selected because when you move your cursor over the layer it will be highlighted so all you do is drag and drop that on top of the layer and it will be applied down here or up here should I say. Now some effects will have immediate effect like the glow but say if we add a blur let's just add a box blur you'll see that nothing changes until we come up to the settings and change the settings around so to change the settings you can either stay in the effects control panel up here or you can come down to the timeline select this little arrow next to the colored box and it brings this drop down menu and you'll see effects yours will be like this it's just because I've already gone into the effects. Um, go to whatever your effect is, click the down arrow, and all these options will appear down here exactly how they are up here. But for me, I always tend to use the effects control panel because it's just easier to see. One cool thing you can do is you can add more than one effect. I haven't really tried to find a limit myself to the you know to the amount of effects you can add but nevertheless you can do some seriously good things by adding more effects which leads me on to my next point the order of effects now the order that you apply effects can drastically or minimally change the output so for example I'll add a glow to this so if we just drop that onto the composition and as you can see uh, the glow effect appears underneath the box or should I say box blur now just take note of what it looks like at the minute because if I wanted to have the blur effect first then all I have to do I'm sorry the glow effect first all I have to do is click on the glow effect and drag it above the box blur and you'll know if you're placing it above the first effect because you'll see this little thin black line appear that that is the uh, that's telling you where your effect is going to be placed. So once we add that on there, you'll see no difference really because I forgot to actually turn the blur up. So let's just put the blur to 20% and drag that back below and you'll see that the effect completely changes. Yeah, this was only a, uh, a small change and I can't think of any effects off the top of my head. You know, that would make a huge difference when changing the order, but you can always mess around with the effects and I'm sure you'll find something. So to the left of the effect, you'll see this little stopwatch. This is for animation. 
which is something we'll get into in the next video when I talk about keyframes and animation. And finally, next to the effect name again, you'll see this little FX. This actually enables or disables the effect. So if you don't want the effect on, you just click this and it uh, disables it. And uh, if you just click on that again, then it will enable it again. So that is the basics of adding effects in After Effects. Hope this video helped. If it didn't, you can go back and watch it again or comment and I'll help you in any way that I can. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more cool videos and have a good one.